So today on The Lowdown, we are talking about recovery and why your workout is actually as only as good as your recovery. So I hear it all the time, especially being in a gym where people are coming in and out, hundreds of people a day. And the majority of the time I'm hearing people say, oh my gosh, I work out so hard. And oh my gosh, I am dieting so hard, or I am restricting my calories, or I'm, I'm following this perfect program and I'm not seeing results. Or maybe they're actually even gaining weight or plateauing. This is an issue. And the reason why it's an issue is because they're focusing on their workouts and they're focusing on pushing themselves to the max. However, they're not focusing on the one thing that actually gives them results. And that is recovery. So recovery can be a lot of things. Recovery can be the food that you eat. It can be the sleep that you're getting. It can be everything, even a mindfulness practice. The reason why it's so important is because during exercise, our body stimulates cortisol. That's that stress hormone. We actually want the stress hormone a little bit to stimulate when we're exercising. That's what helps break down the muscle tissue. And then your recovery is actually what makes that muscle tissue repair and you get bigger, stronger, faster, and all those key words that everyone wants. So. Now that you've worked out really, really hard, it's your job to go home and eat a good meal, take a nap, like we have time for naps, but take a nap and let your body rest and get ready for your next training day. What happens though, a lot of the time is, is that people do these really, really hard workouts. They stimulate their cortisol levels, that stress hormone, and then they're also limiting their calories. They're also trying to overachieve in all these other areas of their life and they're not getting adequate sleep. Their bodies are in a chronic state of inflammation. So that cortisol that you stimul stimulated during exercise doesn't get a chance to come back down. I want you to think of it as getting a cut. Let's say you get a cut on your arm. That cut isn't gonna heal if you keep reopening it every day. What happens? It becomes a festering wound and it's inflamed. It gets bigger, it gets puffy, it might have some gunk oozing out of it, whatever. Think of that as your body. If you're constantly beating up your body every day and reopening that cut, then you're never gonna be able to heal and get stronger. All that's gonna happen is that you're gonna become more inflamed and that's when we all feel puffy. I hear it literally on a day-to-day -day basis. People walk in, I feel puffy. I don't know why I feel puffy. And most of the time is because they're overtraining, they're under eating, and they're not focusing on that one key aspect, their recovery. So while you are all recovering at home, do me a favor and hit me up with some questions about confusing science stuff that you guys are looking to learn more about. It can literally be anything because if I don't know what it is, I'm going to go to one of my friends who is a professional in that field and find out for you. This is one of the things that I think is extremely important within our industry and it's called staying within your scope of practice. I have a degree in athletic training and strength and conditioning. I have friends who have degrees and PhDs in psychology and nutrition. So if we all work together within our scope of practices, we can fully educate you on everything that you need to know. So remember to like, subscribe, and do all the youtube -y things. But again, hit me up with those questions because I truly want to answer them for you.